Ever wondered how that gigantic metal bird and airplane manages to stay afloat in the sky? Well, the answer lies in the magical interplay of four forces, lift, thrust, weight, and drag. The wings of an airplane with their special shape called an airfoil play a crucial role in generating lift. As air flows over the curved top of the wing and the flatter bottom, a pressure difference is created. This difference results in an upward push or lift that counteracts the weight of the airplane. Simultaneously, the engines roar into action, providing the necessary thrust to propel the airplane forward. This thrust helps the plane overcome the resistance or drag of the air it moves through. As the airplane accelerates on the runway, it's these combined forces of lift and thrust that prepare it for flight. So, the wings generate lift and the engines provide thrust. But how does the airplane actually take off? Taking off is more than just speeding down a runway. It's a delicate dance of forces and control. Imagine being at the helm of a massive metal bird, engines roaring as you race along the tarmac. As speed builds, the plane starts to feel lighter, more responsive. This is where the magic begins. The wings of an airplane are marvels of engineering, designed to generate lift by creating a pressure difference between their top and bottom surfaces. As the airplane speeds up, this pressure difference grows and the plane begins to rise, as if pulled skyward by an unseen hand. But lift alone isn't enough. You need thrust to overcome drag, the resistance of the air against the movement of the airplane. And that's where the engines come in. They're like the heart of the aircraft, pumping out power to drive the plane forward. As the speedometer needle climbs, the pilot pulls back on the control yoke, angling the nose of the plane upward. This action, known as increasing the angle of attack, enhances lift even further. It's like a ballet dancer leaping off the stage, body angled just so to achieve maximum height. With a swift pull on the control yoke, the airplane lifts off the ground, but how does it stay up there? Staying aloft is a delicate balance of forces and control. Once an airplane takes off, it's not just about reaching the skies, but also about maintaining that lofty position. You see, flight is a symphony of sorts, one where lift, thrust, weight, and drag each play their own crucial parts. Picture this, once airborne, the pilot is like a maestro, conducting this grand orchestra. The throttle, akin to the conductor's baton, becomes the primary tool to maintain a steady tempo. Adjusting it allows the pilot to control the plane's speed, managing the thrust produced by the engines. But there's more to this aerial ballet. The altitude, or the plane's height above the ground, also needs to be regulated. The pilot, using a combination of the throttle and control surfaces like the elevators and ailerons, deftly maintains a balance between the forces at play. The airplane, now a graceful bird, continues to soar. The lift counters the weight of the plane, keeping it from plummeting back to Earth. Meanwhile, the thrust combats the drag, the resistance of the air against the forward motion of the plane. It's this delicate balance, this perfect harmony of forces and control that allows the airplane to glide smoothly through the sky, each element, each force, each adjustment working together to maintain flight. And there you have it, the perfect harmony of forces that allows an airplane to soar through the sky so that's how airplanes really work. The magic of flight is all about balancing the forces of lift, thrust, weight, and drag. The wings play a crucial role, creating a pressure difference that generates lift, making it possible for the airplane to rise into the air. Simultaneously, the engines provide the thrust needed to propel the plane forward, overcoming the drag and allowing the aircraft to move through the sky. When it's time for takeoff, the pilot pulls back on the control yoke, angling the nose upward to increase the angle of attack and enhance lift. Once airborne, the throttle is adjusted to maintain a steady speed and altitude. It's the perfect dance of physics and engineering, enabling these massive machines to soar with ease. Thanks for joining us on this flight through the science of aviation. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating insights. Safe travels.